What's up, this squad? Back with another video. I seen the title is going down. Make sure you have to like the subscribe button for me, please. Y'all seen the title? It's Let's a jump good right idea, Jesse, that they're doing it. But but together, I mean, it's almost as if she like signaling that she can't do it alone, that she can't do a thorough, long interview. Traditionally, you do the joint interview after the convention. That's what Trump and Vance did. That's what happens with the ticket. She waited, though, way too long. And Balls is her security blanket. I expect him to talk most of the time. But the power has shifted, Judge, from the politicians to the people in the age of information. We're sitting around with all this power, and we don't know what to do with it. We can mobilize. We can donate. We can communicate. We can mobilize and with this thing right here on our phones. We don't even need to do anything. We could get people at town halls going crazy. We could flood the phone banks in Congress, but we don't. We sit around and complain. And I say this to someone who gets paid to sit around and complain. But we <laughs> used to have a lot more of an action-oriented country. And look around. You got cities that don't look great. You got a border open. You got jails open. Prices are too high. And everybody agrees with me. But we don't do anything about it. Why? Because we don't demand our politicians do anything about it. And we have such low expectations for the politicians. Then they like that because then they don't really have to do anything because not doing something's easier than doing something. And they can just run on the same problems that have always been around instead of fixing them. But all these politicians have to do is submit themselves to questioning because they're public servants. And usually the media acts as kind of the conduit for the questions that the people have, all the people, not just some people. And that tension is healthy when you have to say, all right, you know what? I'm not about my selfish interest. I'm for the public's interest. She won't do that. Yeah. She's afraid of the risk that she might incur by saying the wrong thing or saying something unpopular. Donald mm -hmm. Trump's not afraid of that risk. And we want somebody who's not afraid of getting- But that's the thing, Jesse, uh, how I look at it. Donald Trump isn't afraid of that. Neither is uh, J.D. Vance. You see, J.D. Vance is he's literally going around doing different interviews, talking, speaking, because trust uh, Trump has that trust in him. Now, I can't say the same for Kamala and Tim Waltz. And we obviously see that. But you still have people that support her, backing her for a lot of things you do. It's still a lot of people that are working everything off of emotion when it comes to uh, Trump and Kamala. You know, people are saying that, that Trump or or I, I can't even say Kamala Trump, you know, people will sit there and say, oh, he, he's the R word and he's this. And Trump said this. and He did that. And I mean, come on, y'all. People got to start waking up, realizing what's going on. You can't even have Kamala that, that wants to actually sit down alone and do an interview. That's, you know, live. The interview would be, a lot of people did this interview. If I'm not mistaken, this interview is, is going to be pre taped. So people need to put all that in consideration. You know who they are or knowing what their vision is. And you don't accept that from your wife. You don't accept it from a CEO of a company. Why should we accept it from the president? <laughs> okay. Uh, that was a rhetorical question. Yes. <laughs> a good, good idea. Thanks for clarifying. Good idea. You know, um, this rapper who said that Harris doesn't owe the voters an explanation. There are a lot of people who think that way. And people in the Democrat Party, I'm sure would prefer the Kamala not say anything. I mean, even our economic plan, it was panned by both sides, the price gouging, gauging, she called it. It was, but it was out there, and you can go and read the policies, and the website will be filled out to completion. And I land somewhere between what Charlemagne was saying and what that rapper was saying. So I do think doing the interviews is important, and anyone who is going to then criticize her doing this with Dana Bash it isn't being an honest broker, no offense, Jesse, they would complain about anything. Dana Bash is a wonderful interviewer and she was very good moderating the debate with Trump. He even said that, that she did a great job. Jessica literally gets on here. And I don't I don't know what goes through her head. I've said this plenty of times, but it's like. We talking about Dana Bash here, we talking about a pre take like this isn't live, y'all. So when they're posting this in, oh, yeah, CNN Thursday is going to be Kamala and Dana. Trust and believe, bro. Like, this is this is stuff that is literally court. They can edit it out. They can edit out uh, some stuff. She can go, you know, go get a sip of water. She's feeling nervous and she's sweating. And, bro, y'all got to, people got to. So I, I think man. it's a good pick for that reason. Going out there with VP Walls or soon to be VP Walls, I hope, um, lets you get to know the ticket in full. And. 
if you were listening to Kamala talk about her experience wow. at the convention in the Thursday night speech, can't really say she's afraid of anything. This doesn't seem like a woman who is cowering in the corner about this. She might be concerned about the kind of coverage that she's going to get of these things and the people who are, again, not being honest brokers and will be detractors no matter what she does. But I don't think it's because she's afraid. Um, I do want the, view, uh, the viewers, the voters, know. all of them, to be able to see her and get to know her because we know that this election will be decided by you know, 200,000 people over a, a smattering of states. And some of them might feel really strongly about this. And there's an argument as well for doing a bunch of mini interviews instead of these really big ones where it's so high pressure, high stakes. But there is a very solid record, especially when it comes to black voters, for Kamala Harris to be running on based on what they accomplished during the Biden-Harris administration from over- She, she speak on, hold on, say it again, Jessica. And will be decided by you know 200,000 people over a, a smattering of states. And some of them might feel really strongly about this. And there's an argument as well for doing a bunch of mini interviews instead of these really big ones where it's so high pressure, high stakes. But there is a very solid record, especially when it comes to black voters, for Kamala Harris to be running on based on what they accomplished during the Biden-Harris administration from... Y'all make sure y'all stay tuned for my next video I'm dropping. Over two and a half million jobs for black people, the lowest unemployment in American history for black Americans, and also the smallest gap between white unemployment and black unemployment. I think my headphones just went out. billion dollars for HBCUs, all of the high-speed internet access, et cetera, investing all this money into infrastructure to make sure that black Americans have access to economic opportunities like the transportation to get there to the jobs. Those are all things that I hope that she will talk about in this interview. And I think that it would show Charlemagne that she is ready to play. She's ready to earn those votes. We're not taking anything for granted. Okay, Greg, do you agree with that? Um... No. <laughs> I mean, I don't believe it. I mean, all that stuff you just said. Like all the, right. all the facts. No, it's like uh, you talked about like the historical low unemployment. That's uh, that was under Trump. You talked no, about wasn't. these jobs. Yes, it, it was. It's lower under Biden than Trump. No, it, well, no, it wasn't. Yes, it. No, it wasn't. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, I it can was. do this all day. So could I. I can do. I'll go. So I'll I. do it all day. Great. Look, here's the deal. You know what? Yes, it was. Is it just me? No, it wasn't. <laughs> Charlemagne. He, he seems like he's debating himself half the yeah. time. And I think he does that just so he can get on this show, and you, it's worked again. I love the fact that Kamala is reporter shopping. You know, it's incredible. It's like she's curating the campaign. Actually, somebody's doing it for her. It's like it's a, the, it's not a campaign. It's a coming out party, and she's the debutante. So they're going to they're gonna send out the Evites. You know, they're going to tell you what to wear. It's, it, it's kind of it's yeah. just frustrating to see the candidates having their way with the media. I find it absolutely <laughs> offensive. They're rolling her out like she's a rare panda. No, and by the way, who, like, why are we the ones that are micromanaging this stuff? I don't care how how they do it it doesn't it's like it's just so stupid this stuff is stupid it's and it's weird though to see everybody in agreement about their candidate the less you see of her the better mm -hmm. you know what i mean it's hilarious they're not even hiding the fact that they need to hide her and that they need to have her with somebody else because one plus one just equals one I, I need to make another mm. clarification. <laughs> Yesterday on the show, I said pandas have a similar thumbprint than humans. It's actually koala bears. Again, I'm deeply sorry well, if anybody misconstrued well my statement. Jesse, thank you. And that just goes to show you, though, like how bad Jessica and they put her like like we always say, you know, or I say I've seen people say it in the comments, but they literally have Jessica there. You know, it, it gives it gives a, uh, I can't even say a real good argument. You know, it's it's just, uh, I'm trying to think, entertainment? I don't know because, honestly, Jessica, the, the stuff she says is is, is, is not is not there. You know what I mean? You have Hurl, and Hurl can say some stuff that, that it completely, like, mess with you. Like, what are you talking about? Like, but you have Jessica, everything that comes out of her mouth is in denial. She's using excuses. She's lying. Like everything, all of the above. I and mean, it's the same. Make sure y'all hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know y'all thoughts and comments on this video. Make sure y'all stay tuned for the next two videos drop tonight. Catch y'all next one.